what's good and what up? It's your brother Sam and hear it viral. Hip hop news. Do me a favor, family, before we get started with the content, y'all know what to do. Go up tap and hit that like button. All right, so this is a wild one coming out of Houston today. James Prince Jr. is being accused of driving while intoxicated and bringing a firearm into a correctional facility. According to police records, here are the details. Now, officials said Prince Jr. was leaving a private hotel party near 1600 West Loop South and was carrying a clear glass with alcohol in it. A police officer, an undercover police officer, said that Prince Jr. showed signs of intoxication, slurred speech, and unsteady stances. The officer warned Prince Jr. that he was too intoxicated to drive his vehicle, but Prince got into his vehicle anyway and drove off, officials say. The officer followed Prince in a private vehicle and called in for a marked patrol unit, officers say. A Houston Police Department patrol pulled Prince Jr. over and searched him several times for weapons, but at the last checkpoint, a pistol was found in his nuts, officials say. No official said the officers asked Prince Jr. several times if he had any weapons and he did not tell them. Currently, Prince Jr. is being held at the Harris County Jail. His bond is set $25,000, and I don't think anybody will be surprised once that bell is set, or once that bell is paid for and he is out of jail. But man, oh man, this is a crazy situation. First off, the, the, the language is real fickle. I remember working at the nightclub, and that was an easy excuse to be able to get somebody out the nightclub. You obviously know there's alcohol involved. Liquor is being poured. People are drinking. You can say that they got slurred speech. They're, they're, they're waving back and forth. Their eyes are glazed over. Say little things in writing to make them seem as though they were intoxicated. But I see in this report that they say that he was pulled over. An undercover cop told him not to drive. But at no point did he ever take a breathalyzer test. This is, I mean, unless they didn't put that in the report. I don't see any breathalyzer test. I don't see anything of him blowing anything over the alcohol limit. I don't know what the the gun laws are in Texas, but I think they're pretty they're pretty slim. And if he did have a registered firearm, I don't know why he didn't tell them. He probably was in the mood not to talk to the police officers at all. That being said, he did bring a firearm into the police department. That is a very big deal, according to news reports. It was somebody last year that had a firearm while a cop was was putting them in the back of this wild car driving off. Guy pulled out the gun, killed the cop. So they're real just extra paranoid about that on top of being paranoid as it is that being said i don't know what this situation plays out to be i don't know what comes out of this obviously james prince jr is the son of rap a lot record ceo hip-hop icon and mogul boss james prince so this remains to be seen we will see what happens in this situation like i said bail was set at twenty five thousand dollars won't be surprised if he finds himself out of jail tonight twenty five thousand dollars chump change compared to what they got going on down there. So he will be out of out of jail. And we'll see what happens. Y'all leave a comment in the comment section right now. Let me know what you think of the situation with James Prince Jr. in currently behind bars for a brief moment. DWI and bringing a firearm into a police station. Let me know what you think about that right now. Also, in the description box, just links to our Twitter, IG, and all the platforms that myself, Sam Man, CEO of Viral Hip Hop News Runs. Push up with Sam Man, Sam Man, a cut. Of course, I'm the co host of the Uncensored True Podcast, most underrated podcast on YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, Google Play to date with my brother, Oh God, over at Hip Hop News Uncensored. Make sure you subscribe right now. Always trying to keep it raw, real, and cut here for our Hip Hop News. Until next time, until next story, I sincerely appreciate each and every one of y'all. And I'm out of here, man. Peace.